Hello students, welcome to SLV e-learning. This is Manikanta. Today I am here to take the session of 7th class social studies, chapter number 2, part 1. Chapter name is Rain and Rivers. In this lesson, I am going to be teach what is rain and how the rain going to be occurs and what are the importance of water, different forms of rainfall and what are the instruments are using to know the how much rainfall occurs okay from the last five days we are observing that the rain is comes we know that what are the uses of rain before the knowing the importance of rain we shall be know the importance of water okay just imagine without water what is going to be happen on the earth water is very crucial water is very crucial on the earth without water we can't survive not only human beings all the living organisms are can't survive for the survival of the people for living on the earth for human beings for animals for anything we require the water going to the water water the main source of the water is rain the main source of the water is rain without rain there is no chance to get the water without rain there is no chance to get the water where we get the water we get the water with the help of lakes rivers ponds wells etc these all are the examples of the fresh water we have two types of water one is fresh water and another one is salt water hello students welcome to slv e-learning this is manikanta today i am here to take the session of seventh class social studies chapter number two part one chapter name is rain and rivers In this lesson, I am going to be teach what is rain and how the rain going to be occurs and what are the importance of water, different forms of rainfall and what are the instruments are using to know the how much rainfall occurs. Okay. From the last five days, we are observing that the rain is comes. We know that what are the uses of rain before the knowing the importance of rain we shall be know the importance of water okay just imagine without water what is going to be happen on the earth water is very crucial what is very crucial on the earth without water we can't survive not only human beings all the living organisms are can't survive for the survival of the people for living on the earth for human beings for animals all for anything we require the water going to the water water the main source of the water is rain the main source of the water is rain without rain there is no chance to get the water without rain there is no chance to get the water where we get the water we get the water with the help of lakes rivers ponds wells etc these all are the examples of the fresh water we have two types of water one is fresh water and another one is salt water moving to the earth the earth covers 71 percentage of the part is water and the remaining 29 percentage is land contains mountains hills etc in that particular 71 percentage of the water 92 percentage 97.2 percentage of the water is salt water 
and the remaining 2.8 percentage is fresh water okay sun clouds and rainfall we already know without sun there is no formation of clouds if there is no clouds there is no chance of rainfall there is some interlink now we are going to discuss about how the rainfall is covers and the different types of rainfall also i will explain that and what are the concepts the first concept is evaporation the first concept is evaporation okay when you wash your clothes and hang them outside for drying after some time clothes are drying next if you are drop water on a table you observe that water is vanishes after some time where does this water go the water on the table and clothes is evaporates here it is an example if you take a bowl and pour some water and raise the temperature of the water with the help of fire now the water is boiling because of the heat water converts into the vapor because of the heat water converts into the vapor we can clearly observe the stream actually the water in the clothes and bowl the water on the table becomes water vapor becomes water vapor and mixes with the air mixes with the air this process is called evaporation this observe this diagram carefully here it is a sun it is a river okay this water because of the sunlight converts into the water vapor converts into the water vapor the process is called evaporation the process is called evaporation okay here trees trees and human beings and uh, all the living organisms also having water molecules on its body so that is also converts into the water vapor that is also converts into the water vapor the process is called evapotranspiration here to one is evaporation and another one is evapotranspiration evaporation water converts into the vapor it is called evaporation and water converts into the vapor from the trees called evapotranspiration from the trees called evapotranspiration now the second step the converted water drop the converted water vapor the converted water vapors suppose we are in the land suppose we are in the land from the land if you going to higher position if you going to higher position from the land we are uh, from the land if you going to higher position the temperature is decrease the temperature is decrease at the same time water vapor water vapor is joining to the atmosphere the temperature is decrease the water vapor joining to the atmosphere the temperature is decrease the temperature is now cool because of the coolness the vapor are converted water droplets the vapor are converted as water droplets this is called condensation now step 3 the water droplets these are the water droplets were joining into the big form these are the water droplets joining into the big form this is called a cloud these water droplets are combined with each other and with dust particles smoke and to join in and to join and form a big one this is called clouds the fourth step here it is a cloud the cloud contains water droplets if the water droplets were increased the water droplets were increased the in the in this position the clouds are unable to hold these water droplets and the dust particles so the clouds fall down in the form of water 
snow, water, snow, and etc. In this position, the clouds contains water droplets. If the water droplets were increased, the clouds are unable to hold the water droplets and dust particles. So, the clouds are fall down. It falls in the form of water, snow. So, this is called rain. The first one is evaporation. Second one is condensation. Third one clouds. And finally, rains. First, water converts it into the water vapor. It is called evaporation. And the water vapor converted into the water droplets. That is called condensation. After the water droplets to combine to form a big one that is called clouds. After the clouds, the clouds unable to hold the all water droplets and it fall down. It is called and it fall and it's fall down in the form of water, snow, etc. It is called rain. Okay. Okay, students. Thanks for watching.